Hi, my name is Rita Patel, and I am the program director for the Pediatric Residency Program at Peyton Manning Children's Hospital. I am also a general pediatrician who has seen firsthand how important vaccines are in keeping my patients healthy. Over the past couple of decades, I have seen increasing vaccine hesitancy in my patients. I think it is important to continue to educate about the safety and efficacy of vaccines. Vaccines all started with milkmaids in the 1700s. A British physician, Dr. Jenner, noticed that milkmaids who got the cowpox sores on their hands didn't seem to get the deadly smallpox disease. So he took some of the material from a cowpox on a milkmaid's hand and injected it into a little boy. Clearly, there were not a lot of ethics committees back then. He then exposed the little boy to the smallpox virus multiple times and he never developed the disease. Dr. Jenner went on to develop the smallpox vaccine in 1796, which was followed almost a century later by the rabies vaccine. And then in 1952, these were followed by the polio vaccine. Since then, we've developed many more vaccines and they've saved millions of lives and eradicated entire diseases. Here you can see tetanus has become almost eliminated since the vaccination was introduced. And measles, similarly, you can see that the vaccines are incredibly effective. But please note, in more recent years, we have had some bumps. HPV is one of only two vaccines that actually prevents cancer. It specifically prevents cervical cancer as well as some throat cancers. It has been unbelievably effective in reducing the number of cancers in young women. Here are all the vaccines that we give routinely today. As you can see, we've definitely made a lot of progress since the 1700s. So we know vaccines are effective, but clearly we struggle a lot with getting everyone vaccinated.